He uses a hammer for his research. Right now it's monitoring for impacts. Testing to find damage in this military helicopter. You should actually see him pop up. At Vanderbilt's new Laser Lab, Laboratory for Systems Integrity and Reliability, researchers work on full-size machines. On the 53K, all composite helicopter, where we're developing a system uh, uh, that will embed inside the aircraft material and allow that material to tell us you know, when it, where it's damaged and how significant the damage is. Vanderbilt researchers have already developed an onboard health monitoring system for the rotor blades on Army Black Hawk helicopters. These materials are game changers from a standpoint of performance. So now they are developing a damage detection system for the new carbon fiber material planned for choppers. It's lightweight and strong, but... In that when it gets impacted, it doesn't dent. So there are no scarring, there's no evidence that there's damage beneath the surface. To solve that, a new three-dimensional laser can quickly scan the helicopter. We're able to look down inside the surface at different layers. We can scan the entire side of this aircraft in minutes. But there's not just military research here. This powerful wind tunnel is testing a system that spots early warning signs of failures on wind turbine blades. Oh, this is awesome. I just love it. It's just incredible the things that they get to do in this lab. Vanderbilt undergrad Haley Hyde is developing a computer model showing how turbine blades respond to wind changes and turbulence. You can kind of see how, um, how it wants to bend and you can understand the loads and the fatigue that's going to build up over time. Several tests were displayed at the Laser Lab's grand opening. This is a missing piece to the puzzle. We have the lab where we will finally be able to test all those ideas, concepts, theory, simulation on real systems. And we're looking at this blade here. The, the fact that we work on this broad range of technology, it really makes us unique and the fact that we do it at a full scale. We do all this interesting research, but we do it in the context of undergraduate and graduate student education. That's made me think a lot more seriously about that, how I can continue this research into the school year and to grad school further on in life just to kind of keep going and keep seeing you know, where it can go into the future. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer.